What's up guys, this is Valentina with Bigger Creations and today I'm going to show you how to find the best samples. Like I said, today I'm going to show you how to find the best samples using a service called Splice. But before we get into it, the moment you've all been waiting for. If you missed it, in my last video, I threw out a challenge to you guys to write a second verse to the song. And you guys came through. My inbox flooded with submissions. And today I'm excited to finally announce the winner. The winner of the Rap On My Beat Challenge is Chris Lee from United Destiny Entertainment. There's a little something about you, girl. Something about you, girl. I can't get over. I can't and it's something that I'm hoping never goes away. Son, you crushed it. Those vocals just took me back to like old school R&B, when it was all about just the harmonies and just the melody of the vocals. So I love what you did with it. And um, Chris, I'm going to be reaching out to you to see if we can put some finishing touches and get this baby released. If you guys would stream it once we release it, then uh, let me know in the comments. Like I said, I did receive a ton of submissions, so I don't want to leave anyone out, but I did pick some of my favorites, and I've also included a link to those in the description as well. Thank you so much, guys, for participating. It was super fun to see all the different takes that everyone had on this song. Making a good beat is only part of making a great song. So uh, thank you to everybody who participated. And without further ado, let's get into this video, baby. Today, I'm showing you exactly the process I go through to find the best samples. Um, and like I said, I use Splice. I've been using Splice for about a year now. If you don't know what Splice is, it's basically a subscription service to a library of sounds and plugins and things that you can use to make music. And honestly, it is the best way to find the perfect sounds that you're looking for. Um, so you can preview and download millions of sounds from top producers, artists, and sound designers. You can try professional plugins on rent-to-own basis for free and then pay them off with a monthly payment. You can also back up your work on a cloud with unlimited free storage um, and adding artists to collaborate. And you can also find a great community where you can enter contests, discover projects, and connect with over a million musicians around the world. I personally use it mostly just to find the right sounds and samples, um, but there is so much potential in what you can get out of using Splice. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do uh, when I'm about to start a beat and how I find the right sounds. When I'm ready to make a beat and I want to look for a nice sound or sample that I want to use, I just go to Splice and I start taking a look at what they have on just their homepage. They usually post like new sounds, new packages. The cool thing is they have it organized by packages and sample packs from different artists. So if you uh, start catching on to different artists that you tend to like, you can actually look at all of their work. The best feature I think about it is that you can search by genres or instruments. Um, or any other kind of tags to help you find exactly what you're looking for. So let's take a look. Usually I'll go to genres and let's look at what they got under soul. And here you can actually refine what you're looking for. And you'll notice you'll have the ability to like, like them and download them. So I'm just going to look through here. Obviously I've downloaded some of these. I've liked some of these, um, but it doesn't mean I've used them. So let's take a listen. Okay, so I found a pack that's called Drums That Knock. This has got to be a good pack. Let's take a listen. I found this collection that's called Trap and Soul. It's got some great sounds. Let's take a look.
good. I like the groove. I can already feel some melodies coming through. So I'm going to download it. And before I totally commit to this sample, I'm going to look through some other ones. If nothing else kind of like resonates with me, then I'm going to come to that one and we're going to make a beep. Ooh. I really like that one too. It kind of sounds like Lloyd, like early 2000s Lloyd. Um, we'll see. Later. I've been searching for a while. I haven't found something that I liked more than that one sample. <laughs> Let's try and lower it just by one or two semitones. So from that sample pack, I made a drum kit. I've just dragged them into Ultra Beat and this is what they sound like. And I think that's a good starting point. Okay, I've started messing around with this sample and I'm not really feeling it. So let's try something else. And I like the drum kit, but I think the sample just doesn't go well with the kit. And I'm too in love with the drum kit to let it go. So let's try this other sample that I liked. Yeah. going. Okay, I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna record the vocals and I'll show you guys the finished product. So there you 
have it guys, that's my exact process on how I find the perfect samples on Splice to make a beat. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you wanna see more content and keep making beats.